Okay, so it looks like it might be working. Yep, it says I'm live. Looks like the camera came on. Let's see. Trying to get everything set back up after having uh, after reload Windows. <laughs> Actually, I still have uh, the software for the camera loading now. It's it's still downloading. I thought it'd be great by now, but I actually left that page, but it's still downloading. Cool, Calvin. Thank you very much. So it is working. You hear, hear your non-Alex Jones voice. <laughs> it's not as bad as it was. It's getting a little bit better. <laughs> if I push it though, I can still get I can still get it. <laughs> Let's see, how's the volume, so volume sound? Does it sound all right? Hey, Franco, thank you for joining. Let's see. I think that uh, the volume level is probably going to stay the same no matter what, because it goes through the test cam. Yeah, it was bad the other week. <laughs> cool. Not overdriven or anything. I've actually backed it off a little bit from our last stream. My I listened to our last stream. It sounded like it was about right overdrive a little bit. So I backed it down to 75. I don't know why that download's taking so long. Let's see. Oh, because 155 megabytes. <laughs> that could be why. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, cool. Are you set up, uh, Calvin, or you want me to wait till next week? <laughs> I just saw your message just a moment ago. Fire that over to you just in case you want to join in. There you go. Okay, I shot you the link. <laughs> okay, I see now why I need the software. There you are. How you doing? Pretty good. Ignore the fact that I'm going to have the world's most terrible lighting because I just moved my light, and I really don't feel like spending 10 minutes resetting it up. Yeah, we weren't expecting to do this. <laughs> Welcome to the unplanned, not going to happen, Calvin and Jimmy show. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, yeah. It's, I'm trying to get everything set back up. I uh, went to do a print on on the tarantula last night, and then all of a sudden, it's like that's right. I forgot. I don't have cure anymore. <laughs> so I noticed they went to cure at three three point two. So I downloaded it last night. Now I just gotta go in and create a profile for it. Oh, nice. I actually downloaded it to give it a shot, but personally, I can't figure out how to get the supports to work right and the variable layer height. I need to really like. Oh, that's right. I got to put all that stuff back in. I forgot about that. I got to uh, seriously try and figure it out because it seems interesting, but I have no clue how on earth to work it. Oh, and then they got other settings now that you can put on there that uh, there's like settings for the settings. This is inc incredible what all they've added to it. It's like it's it's almost to the point where it's a little bit overkill, in my personal opinion. Yeah, it's they're trying to be simplify 3D, <laughs> except they're like going one step beyond that. I think. I'm so how, almost psycho with the settings, in my opinion. Yeah. So how how was your uh, train day today? Went good. It was just uh the three of us because uh, a couple of people couldn't make it because of personal reasons, but still got a lot done. Um, if you go on my Twitter, you'll see, I did some, finally did some scenery work. I get in there and Dave, the guy who owns the facility that we use the space. I like, okay, first order of business, you got to fix this blue scenery out here. This looks bad. I'm like, you got it. So went in there, put, put a little bit of ground cover down, put a little bit of paint. So the area that, got all hacked up months ago finally got some basic ground cover so it looks good um i worked on planning out the future of my module when we go to rebuild it um 
ran the pimped out locomotive that I used in the video around, figured out that my super glue is totally garbage. I just need to throw it out because a couple of the things I glued on fell off and I'm like, oh, that's embarrassing. So I'm just gonna go back and reapply them with five minutes with some two part epoxy. But hey, I didn't know my super glue had gone so bad it wouldn't even stick like stuff to itself. So, oh, wow. oh well. <laughs> I know I had a, uh, whenever I was doing the blower motors on this uh, TiVo, I remembered I bought some uh, super glue, that uh, gel type. Uh -huh. So I went to use it and I went to, when I went to, to apply it, it, nothing would come out. So I think I did the extra little twist on it to try to, to wrench it down a little bit further. further. All of a sudden it just squirted out. <laughs> oh man. That is no fun. So yeah, I'm okay, so, uh, met up with uh, Curtis earlier today. Lucky you. Got, got, we met him over at, at uh, Red Robin up in uh, San Mateo. So went had lunch there. And what's going on here? Oh, hang on. Your computer hates you again. Well, it's uh, the Logitech uh, software loading up. Oh. Yeah, why not? Let's just go ahead and try it. The most I could do is crush my computer, right? <laughs> All of a sudden, you lose the stream. <laughs> oh man, that was so horrible the other night. Like I, uh, before I went to work, I know that noticed that it was doing an update. I was like, okay, it went like a week, and I hadn't tried doing an update. So I thought, well, maybe they finally got everything straightened out. It's going to be all good. It goes and does the update while I'm at work. I come home, and the computer's in a, in a continuous uh, reboot. It would reboot and then it, it would shut it off, come back on and just doing that over and over. But it always was coming back to the same little screen that pop up saying reverting back to old, the older version of Windows and then it would just reboot. And uh, I thought, uh oh, that's not good. So I tried going into safe mode and all that. Of course, you can't go into safe mode unless you can get the boot up. And uh, just so happened I had my little uh, thumb drive from when I was trying to fix my mom's computer and uh, tried everything I could try on it, could not get it to load up. Finally, I just had to go ahead and reinstall Windows, and I didn't realize it was going to take and just eliminate all my programs. <laughs> so I lost my software for the Logitech, lost my Carbonite, lost all the, the different uh, programs I had on the computer including my editing software. So it just so happened I had that saved on my second hard drive. I have uh, two hard drives on this computer. Uh, so I was able to go into that and start loading that software in. And in fact, I still have more uh, parts of it I still have to load onto it. I haven't done that yet. So. Let lesson of the day, people. Load everything that's important onto a second hard drive that does not have your OS on it. So just in case you have what happened to Jimmy, you're not in Jimmy's position, which reminds me I should probably be smart and move everything that I've saved to my, D, my C drive on my computer to the internal D drive, which is just for storage, just in case. In fact, I've got a four gigabyte, uh, it's called a my drive, I think it's by Western Dis Digital. And uh, in order to access it, I got to still download the software for it so I can go ahead and get it going again. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, it's wanting to restart the computer. No, let's not. No, 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 not in the middle of a stream. Let's see if it'll actually load up to where I can. Yeah, there we go. Advance. Let's make it where it will quit. You know, it just hit me. I wonder if I'm going through the right uh, microphone. I'll have to check it here in a moment. Sounds fine to me. Let's see. That's no, not popping up the camera control like I wanted it to. I'm trying to shut off the, where the, it wants to autofocus because the autofocus is just horrible on this thing. Yeah. But in order to do that, I have to restart the computer, so it'll just have to wait. <laughs> I'm going to have to bear with it. It's, it's a test stream anyways. Right. Let's see. Where am I at on my microphone? 
Demi's the honey badger right now. He really just does not care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's that microphone. Good. <laughs> I just want to make sure it wasn't going through the Logitech microphone. No, we would have all been screaming at you if it was the audio from that, probably. I wonder how the audio is on that. I've never tried it. Your levels seem to have gone up a little bit higher, FYI. Let's see. I just, no, I just moved by the microphone. Let's see. So maybe it was going through the other microphone. The other. Uh, let's see. Okay, so that's coming through that one, I think, now. Yeah, the level sound. Yeah, it sounds different. So it was it was coming through the microphone one, wasn't it? Fail on my end. Okay, how about now? Does that sound better? That sounds better. Okay, so yeah, it was, a little bit it was before. mixed up. It was come, audio was coming off the, the camera instead of through this one. Got it. Okay, so that's good. Oh, man. I see we have NLTMW in the house. Thank you for joining. Print very goods in. Thank you. Wow, five five viewers, and there's there was absolutely no lead way on this thing happening. <laughs> I'm like, where's the viewers count? Oh, wait, I don't get that. Jimmy does. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Not fair. Oh, goodness. Oh, man. Yeah, I just made it want to pop on here just to make sure it was working and so well, I don't have any working. issues on Tuesday. <laughs> oh, yeah. Luckily, I think the, the that uh, since I reloaded Windows, I think the, the correct version's on there now. So it hasn't been trying to do that massive update since. That's handy. Yeah, I, the one thing I figured out for my dad is whenever it comes to um, Windows and updates, it's always luck of the draw. There were yeah. many times where he'd have to just like reinstall everything because, you know, this is back before the days of 10, but he was also using like way outdated equipment usually. So when it would happen, it was a bummer, but it was a little bit like, mm, well, you know, it happens, but, you know. I was talking to Curtis, and I guess it has worked. that You've had to do a special, some special thing on the on the computers so that that update will actually work without crashing them. So I, I guess that's just been a major issue. Hey, Ron, thank you for joining. Mr. Stiff, did you find any moment? Uh, was that Mentos? No. <laughs> Not that I know of. <clears throat> How's the uh, Mega Turbo cooling blower working out on the TiVo now? That's like my one big question. What's that? How's the Mega Blower working out on the TiVo? That thing works really good, actually. Um, yeah, here we go. Check out that loop. Oh, man. Look how clean that loop is. Honestly, the if you hadn't told me that was done on a TiVo, I would have gone, oh, did a Prusa do that? Did an Ultimaker do that? And I'm not just saying that to be snarky. I'm saying that in all honesty. Yeah, let's see. It's not going to zoom in good enough on that. There we go. Check it. Uh, it almost did. Not quite. Yeah, maybe. No. I've, I've seen the photos, and that's like one of the best Marvins I've ever seen for being done on a machine with very little to no tuning. Yeah, that, this is the, all it's, this is just a blower. And I, I had another one. Let's see where I did with it. Yes, here's one of my originals. Look at the loop on that one right there. That looks like mm -hmm. everybody else's Marvin test. <laughs> Why is this Marvin test test? No, it does not. What? And they get all mad. It's. Great. And for some reason, this one doesn't have a badunka dunk on it. See how the, the bottom of it, how it's kind of like it doesn't like fill out properly, like this one. This one's got a badunka dunk on it. This one's got like like 
What's that? What's that chick that came in like a uh, wrecking ball? <laughs> <coughs> no, badunga dunk. <laughs> oh, Jimmy, you're killing me again, dude. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Yeah, Riley, there you, you go, Ron. Thank you. <laughs> Does this guy have a dunk, dunk, Jimmy? Does this guy have one? Uh, turn, turn it sideways. No, no, but dunk, dunk. Oh man, gotta throw that print out. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I actually it's, find it's this right here. Look, look at that. Look at that. So, man, come on, camera. Just zoom in right. There we go. See that? That nice round booty on it. I check check this one out though. I don't know what this what the TiVo did with this one, but look at that. Look how flat that is. I it think goes up at an angle. <laughs> I think it got so little cooling that the PLA was actually retracting. Yeah, it, it didn't. It wasn't being shot cooled fast enough that it was just slowly cooling and slowly pulling itself in along with the infill. I've had that happen before. You've had that happen to your bunker then? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when three D printing stuff, it's terrifying. <laughs> Barbara too has no tail disease. <laughs> oh gosh! <laughs> oh, poor Marvin uh, having a problem with his bedunka dunk. <laughs> how many? How many regular cokes did you drink with Curtis? Were they spiked with anything? I just had two today, uh, actually. By the way, I did, uh, he got his mobile back. Nice. I told him that you have a surprise for him. I need I need to find the brass for that. I am probably going to make it out of one inch brass because a two inch around by like one inch long piece of brass is like twenty bucks, and I'm like, no. Wow. Yeah, brass is not cheap. So That's twenty I bucks. Think, yeah, per slug plus shipping. Is that on Amazon or? No, that's on online metals place that I bought from before. I'll check around to see if McMaster has it any cheaper because I need to order up some stuff from there. But I mean, brass is not cheap. Let me actually look now just for fun. Ron's asking if uh, Curtis the vinyl cutter. Yeah, Curtis the vinyl cutter. Uh, luck, lucky 13 vinyl. <laughs> He's the boss. He's a great guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but I was glad to give him his Moai back now. I can start printing with it and oh yeah. Have all the fun. <laughs> I, I gotta say though, that machine is just downright crazy what it can do. Especially considering that I'm using mine with the stock settings out of the box. I haven't gone in there and I haven't tweaked anything settings wise. I just use it as it came, which is incredible. What was this like with the, the one that uh, we built with Curtis? Uh, all we had to do is what a software update. Yeah. And build I the think, stupid thing. Yeah. I mean, a thing printed right off the get right off the bat. It was nuts. Find a price yet. I'm working on it. Mr. Impatient. <laughs> Come on, man. Time's money. Sorry. <laughs> Trying to make sure I pick the right length on the computer to begin with. Jeez, dude. <laughs> if I would have known this, I would have went and got me another Coke so I could have it with a... <laughs> okay, so let's see. If I make it out of a one inch... Actually, it turns out I only need a half inch long piece of material. Whoop, whoop. So if I if I make it from one inch diameter, it's only like three fifty. If I make it from one and a half inch diameter, it's only eleven bucks. And if I make it from two inch diameter, it's only twenty bucks. Wow. Oh yeah, it goes up fast. I'm almost debating. I mean, the one inch though is like the size of my maker coin, which is like really tiny. I'm thinking if you're gonna make really? a knob, I'm thinking if you're gonna make a custom knob for something, you want to make it. Visible, so I'm thinking maybe one and a half. Let me get my calipers out. 
because I'm, I'm going to be making some stuff for myself, you know. I mean. Ron's asking if I've tried the new Diet Coke flavors. No, I haven't. I'm, I'm partial to just drinking Diet Coke as far as getting the vanilla and cherry and I just, I'm not into the flavor stuff. <laughs> Personally, I'm actually kind of a fan of vanilla Coke, but that's me because I kind of like the vanilla taste, but hey, it's really different. So to give you an idea, a quarter is just about one inch around. That is a one and a half inch. Wow. I'm voting one and a half. Go big or go home. The knob itself, though, isn't that big, though, is it? About an inch around. I don't even think it's even an inch. Should we just go with an inch? I mean, that's an inch. You don't have your moai there with you, do you? It's in the garage. Uh, let's see. I would judge say I would say that this tube for the solder is about mm -hmm. the same as as the moai handle. Now well, that's fifteen point five millimeters. Let's see, so how many inches is that? About three quarters. Yeah, 0. 0.6. 0. 0.6 of an inch. Uh, I'll make it out of one inch. Overkill. Blah, 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 blah. I didn't hear you. You just want it big enough so you can really grab it. Yeah, well, I mean, that's the whole point. <laughs> that, that just looks wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you want to put two of them on there, don't you? No, just putting one spaced out equally, you know. I about so you suck. Yeah. <laughs> Dirty Jimmy dr strikes again. <laughs> hey, at least with a piece of Garolite as well, so I can make a flex plate for my printer. It's only a $16 order. Man. Yeah, which isn't too bad considering I'm ordering, if I do it, I'm going to order three slugs just because at about three bucks, about three fifty dollars a piece, should I screw one up? I have the backup and I'm not like, oops. <laughs> demonetized again. Yeah, our last, our last stream was demonetized too. <laughs> Knock on wood, the last few videos that I've uploaded, I've had no problems with them. Really? Yeah. Fortunate. Even my Pimp My Train video, I'm like, oh, they're totally going to, nope. You didn't give a crap. Russell's thick tidbits to a whole new level. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got tid them bits. No, this stream is happening on Jimmy's channel, not mine. He acts totally different when it's on my channel. He acts all nice and proper on his channel. Ah! All the craziness <laughs> happens. Okay, I'm going to come on there on Tuesday night and just going to blow your channel out of the water. Careful. Get demonetized and probably banned from YouTube. And... As long as you're not tasing dead rats, I think you're okay. <laughs> hey, did you hear the latest one? Tasing dead rats? Yeah, the guy was like tasing dead rats and YouTube finally said that's it and yanked his monetization. I was so happy when I heard that. I was like, yeah, finally. That's something that they should have done, I don't know, what, about a month ago? <laughs> well, I mean, here's one thing to keep in mind that my friend Richard said that is a true point, though. And it's not to justify anything, but what he said holds totally true. He goes, the reason why YouTube is always so scared to touch any of their top people is because you got to remember, those are the people that are driving the ad revenue for their channel. And if they touch them, nobody wins. So he's like, it doesn't justify them you know, being slow on anything. But at the same time, you do have to remember from a business standpoint, if something happens to their top level performer and they strike them it, and it turned out to be nothing oh boy that could be really really bad so it, it definitely does not justify any actions by people but it, it is something to keep in mind from a economic standpoint as my math instructor would say but i definitely agree a certain person who will remain unnamed definitely crossed the line years ago and should have just been kicked off but 
what are you gonna do? He's kind of straightened out though a little bit, hasn't he? Yeah, but he still hasn't learned his lesson. <laughs> we'll put it that way. Let's put it this way: whenever he does videos striking out at that other person, you know there's a problem. <laughs> Hey, do you think we should do the do a knob in copper? It's only six bucks for a one by half inch slug. Hey, copper would be fine. You know what? I'll just order up like one or two in copper. Hey, what, 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 what do you guys say that we do? A copper knob and a brass knob? I'm voting yeah. I'm going to order up a copper slug. No, Ron, it's not that guy. It's This is that, uh, what's his name? Logan Paul. Who's he yeah, he, he's down? the one that was, uh, oh, everybody knows about what he did back over in the Japanese forest. And then he turned around and then he does his little, oh, forgive me, blah, blah, blah. And like, doing his, doing his old episode where, you know, he's trying to bring the proper awareness to, to, uh, that kind of stuff. And then he turns around and one of the first vlogs he's back doing again, he starts tasing a dead rat. Like, there's, I mean, I'm not saying that, you know, it's like shows like, here's an example, a show like Family Guy or South Park or It's Always Sunny in Philly. Yes, they cross the line a bit with their jokes, but there's also a line that the producers know that they won't cross. And it's also kind of shock comedy in a way. But there's a difference. They are on their own net, you know, they're on the network that, that has said, okay, we want to cover your... We want your uh, cartoon or whatever on our channel. And, and whatever they do, they're okay with. And if they pull something, they understand. Yeah. And then when it comes to ad revenue, the people who show ads during that cartoon know where their money is going. They say, I want to put so much money while you are playing that show. I want our, our uh, advertisement to be on there. They back those, those deals up. Yeah. It's different on YouTube because people blindly say, say whoever phone that starts with an S says, Hey, I want to put my ad dollars toward YouTube. Yeah. And so they go and they YouTube picks and chooses where that ad plays. It just so happens it usually goes toward their biggest most popular channels they're the ones that get the more popular ads where people like us get purple <laughs> yeah, no, I or know. squatty potty <laughs> or the hey, i'm fine with squatty potty i'm, I'm good with that <laughs> that that or poopery or other just that or some how to draw stuff channel and i'm like oh that's great i took an art class in college <laughs> but no, I know what you mean. I guess at the end of the day, though, it's a little bit like, like I was telling Richard, though, I'm like, you know, at the end of the day, though, there's other platforms that you can do stuff on. I, I respect people if they just decide, you know what, YouTube's not for me and they move on. You know what? That's cool. That's nobody is nobody is physically standing over you going, you got to use my channel or else. I mean, it's totally a personal choice, personal decision, which you're going to end up wor working on. But at the same time, I feel like, um, Ron, you're killing me. <laughs> Ron, we might put you in timeout for your own good. No, but I mean, the, I guess the point is it's like, there's, other oh, that's, that's funny. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess the, um, at the end of the day, what I was trying to see before Ron cut in, thanks a lot, dude. What I was trying to say is, hey, Ron, I just, I just gave you a gift. You deserved it. Gosh, Jimmy, can you like stop talking for three seconds so I can put in what I need to say? Go ahead. We know that you've been quiet for a minute. Go ahead. <laughs> I'll go no, all out. Jones on you here in a moment. Careful, I might do it too. <laughs> No, what I was going to say was there's other platforms that we could be on, but I mean, and and don't get me wrong, I understand why people stream on Twitch and that's great, but at the same time, 
how many people know about Twitch outside of the gaming or like the I sit there and actively hunt out live streams community? I didn't know about Twitch until like uh, three, six months ago, three or six months ago. I mean, I'd heard about it, but I didn't like actively check it out and I'm still trying to figure it out. Sometimes I'll just randomly jump on Twitch and do like, oh, I'm gonna be sitting at the computer for a long time designing. Here's a little stream of me designing. But, um, and it's a great platform to do that on. I mean, I definitely respect the fact that they are very much into trying to keep it a toxicity free community and that I definitely respect them on, but you know, what, what are you gonna do ultimately? Their, their platform though is dedicated more just to live streaming while YouTube's more dedicated towards sitting there and um, watching something after the fact, kind of like scrolling through Netflix or something like that. Randall's got it right. The Itchy and Scratchy show is not the same category as electrocuting actual dead rodents. <laughs> so should I give all Alex Jones now? Yeah, feel free because you know it's it's actually Actually I think my voice is better to the point where I don't I don't think I can do it. <laughs> You guys, you guys missed it before and after the stream. Jimmy did like almost a like scary, good impersonation of Alex Jones. So I told him he should totally like make an outro to his show where he just like goes on some rant for like five minutes, name dropping Jimmy Shaw's tidbits.com like the whole time, like Alex Jones going on some Rico rant, not endorsing the guy by any means, but man, it was funny <laughs> it was so bad <laughs> i am so glad that i actually hit the stop broadcast and that it didn't actually record that because everybody would be like what the <laughs> but let's just say that it was really really funny but at the same time it was almost kind of scary because it was like that's not jimmy right <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah, doing the whole we gotta take out the we gotta take out the elite. The leaders just taking down this country. We gotta save our country. We gotta bring it back the way it used to be. <laughs> quit, quit eating all the soy that's that's caused us. To... <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> then, he, then he just pulls out some random item. I'm just gonna use my microphone here, and he's like, you know, you need to buy my microphone because when you do, the profits from this go and help me. And it was just like, oh, this is great. It was. I still think, though, it would be hilarious if my unnamed friend, who I'm going to wait to make the announcement until I go down to SoCal and we can do it on live stream, I still think it would be hilarious if she went up to interview you as a gag interview and you just start going all crazy psycho, like, oh, you know, all these, like, big companies are here at Baker Fair, and, you know, they're just, like, taking over the whole, like, you just, we do a total gag interview, like, a total opposite, like, when we did the C-Dub one. Only you're doing the Jimmy, Jimmy, the crazy guy one, like complaining about all this stuff. And we put like, this is a joke interview at the beginning and just like watch people's reaction. It'd be pretty funny, actually. Ron says he wants to see a 3D printing, uh, a 3D printing have their own Alex shows. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> hey, Greg, how you doing? Everyone watching this, this is a pre-recorded epic live stream. Calvin's supposed to have no hair. <laughs> I keep telling him, you need a haircut. You need a haircut. He will not do it. But he's going to go to his stylist when he goes down to L.A. Well, we do the poofy on your hair. We put a little around here. We put a little around there. Okay, now we got the poofy going on better now. <laughs> a stylist. Not to stinking, what's that? Great clips, but to a stylist. <laughs> hey, well, I'm at a little more the poofy over here now. There we go. Now, now we got the poofy going on perfectly now. Now, Calvin, you look so good. You look so perfect the way you are now. I'm gonna have to like find that clip and show it, show it to her when I go down. And be like, so this is what everybody thinks of you. She, she's gonna say what, what she he thinks I'm a French guy. <laughs> he 
<laughs> so wrong. <laughs> I am going to see, though, if I can't get her to allow me to shoot a time lapse of getting the haircut. So then when I go home, I can post a time lapse and be like, <laughs> and LTMW just said, just use a weed whacker. <laughs> no. No. Yes, yes, Ron. Thank you. No hair shaming in 2018. That I can stand for. Let's make it a hashtag. Let's make it trending. Oh, uh, in the Chinese New Year. So we still have a week. I don't give a crap. <laughs> oh, man. Greg says he's just about to ready to go to bed and check this phone for the last time so that we were streaming and saw Calvin on his notification. Sweet. Oh, yeah. Well, thank probably... you for joining me. Hey, I had lunch with uh, Curtis today. We were talking about you. We want to know how you're doing. I missed out on it because I was playing with toy trains. I know. <laughs> okay, it was actually work that needed to get done because we got a show coming up next month. In about a month, so we gotta high, gotta kick everything into high gear for that. So it should be yeah, fun. Be so where's the show going to be at? Uh, San Jose Fairgrounds. I think it's the Santa oh, Clara okay. County Fairgrounds okay. in San Jose. Okay. Yeah, I believe it's. Let me let me look it up so I can tell you guys the correct date. I think it's the tenth and eleventh. But um, I don't want don't want to tell you guys the wrong thing. Yeah, hey, you always want to tell us the wrong thing. Yeah, I do. Yeah, it's March 10th and 11th, Santa Clara County Fairgrounds from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. <laughs> Greg says Curtis who? <laughs> Curtis Vinyl Cutting Dude. He knows. <laughs> yeah, I know. He's just being a smarty pants. <laughs> oh, goodness. So I didn't plan for it to go this long. We already have nine people in here? Man. Hey, people make make it make it rain money on Jimmy because he always hates it when people do that. No, you don't have to do that. <laughs> rain money, <laughs> money, 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 money. <laughs> you can do it. Rain money on Jimmy. We seriously need to set up as a joke, a device on your set, like right out of frame, so when people donate, like an unknown amount of money you hit a button and then like all this fake money falls down on your screen that'd be really funny like in real life a skewed uh, view 3d says we're going to going to be set up on the 24th at the gainesville makers fair next right next to the fun king 3d sweet the 24th of this month or next month red trap <laughs> <laughs> how far away is that again Probably pretty far. <laughs> the last road trip we had, Calvin about ready to kill me. <laughs> Keep telling you, dude, 12 hours stuck in a car with you. I don't care who it is. By the 12-hour point, you want to kill whoever you're in the car with, just period. <laughs> <laughs> I was just kidding him. I said, you're going to want a divorce when we get home. But who's going to get the children? <laughs> what do I do? I, I crashed in his camper van that night. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> Fiddle, we didn't leave Vegas until what four o'clock? Yeah, and we didn't really get on the freeway till like five because you had to get gas. I had to get stuff that you can't buy in California at Home Depot. And then really by the time we poked our way to the freeway, it was it pushing like four forty five or five by the time we really got on the freeway. Calvin and his and his contraband. <laughs> I stayed coming take it. <laughs> <laughs> come, come to the check and say she's like, Do I need to hide this? <laughs> I'm going to roll down the window. When we get up there, if they, if they stop us, I'll throw it out. <laughs> oh, man. I, I, I will say way worse than it really was. <laughs> I, I'm still saying, though, if we do have a road trip out to Vegas again, we definitely, one, need to get a bigger vehicle because that car got filled up really fast. Yeah. Um, what was I going to say? Sorry, I got a uh, email on. 
One, we need to get a bigger vehicle, period, because what we were in was just way too cramped for all of us and all of our equipment. Two, we need to try and leave early enough that we can go fly the drone over that water park if it still exists. Three, I want to fly the drone a little bit along ZZYYXX Road. And four, hopefully we can, you know, get into Vegas before all the stupid traffic hits or just don't go around New Year's. <laughs> I know. That's that's where we went wrong is because of the date. But we had to be there that day, though. That oh, was, yeah. That was important. I mean, I will be honest, though, depending upon my schedule, part of me still almost says, like, if I'm in the area, just drop my stuff off with Jimmy a couple of days before. And then time-wise, either fly in or fly out. Because if you're going to drive it, and I was really pressed for time, fly in. Like, I was going to be like, here's my stuff. I'll see you there in a day or so. <laughs> okay, I will say, though, the one thing that would have made it a lot easier if we were in a larger vehicle is I had actually had visions of like doing 3D design work or editing in the car. The original plan was the back seat was not going to be filled up with stuff. Yeah. That didn't happen, so there was like no room in the front of the car, and I got like my camera rig squished in there, and then Jimmy's phone trying to live stream, and my phone trying to like keep the world apprised of boringness in the middle of nowhere. I think we would have been better off by just renting a van or something. I think so too, because I've got really long legs and bad knees, so I couldn't stretch them out. You would have had more more just room in the car in general, because it's like when we got into Jeff's minivan, I was like, oh. Face. I know. <laughs> you know, I, hey, I probably Skew uh, 3D uh, said that uh, it's going to be this month. So the 24th of this month uh, at uh, Gingsville Makers Fair. That's cool. That sounds like fun. But yeah, yeah the, the other killer is I, I looked it up on the phone and without traffic, it's like two or three hours faster to go from where my parents' house is out to Vegas than from Salinas out to Vegas. Oh, well, what are you going to do? <laughs> Both, you pretty much have so, to drive. Um, to I, was, I was just watching an episode of Mythbusters the other night where they uh, they had a test to see who could get down in L.A. faster, whether it was faster to, to board a plane up there. I forget what airport he left from, though. SFO and Oakland are driving time. I can get without traffic to Oakland in about half an hour. Yeah, but I, I forget get... what airport they both left at the same time. Uh, one of them drove to the airport. The other ones, they just drove straight down 101 down to L.A. Actually, that was the five. Was it the five? It was the five because 101, the five takes you through the Central Valley. The 101 takes you along the coast, but the five dumps you directly into the heart of L.A., the 101 snakes you down along the coast into LA. But since my parents live literally like 15 minutes off the 101, I always take the 101. I mean, I've only taken five a couple of times, like in the middle of the night, and it was okay. But I don't know. The five's just boring. It's like yeah. nothing. So, I mean, if, if you're if you're leaving from the heart of LA, five makes a lot of sense. But the other problem is you have to cut through Oakland over the Altamont to about Stockton area, and then you can cut down. So you gain a lot of time. Then when I'm going back, I actually have to backtrack in to get to my parents' house. So it's not really worth it. I mean, theoretically, the driving time is about the same, but it's not. It's actually faster, in my opinion, to take one-on-one. -on -one. But that's where, based off where I am. But I was not surprised, actually, that between the two, the time was about the same because when you factor it in, driving to the airport takes time, parking your car, or even getting dropped off at the airport takes time. You got to get there early for your flight. You got to potentially check your bags. And even if you don't, you still got a lot of time for security. I understand some people have TSA pre, but even then you still need to show up at least half hour, 45 minutes early just to play it safe in case there's a line or something happens or traffic or something like that. And then you got to wait for your jet. You got to board the jet. You got to fly down. You got to get off. And in his case, he was getting a rental car. So that took a while, you know, but there's, I mean, even in the case of like when my mom flies from SoCal to SF, by the time she's done it, it's still taking about four hours at least to go from my parents' house to grandma's house, including leaving the house, going to the airport, flying in the airplane, getting picked up at the airport and going to the house. Man. So... You know, and in my case, because I'm hauling a lot of stuff, unless I really have to, I fly, I don't fly or take the train. 
Hey, Greg's taking off. Thank you very much, Greg, for joining. You have a good night. Have a good night, Greg. Well, man, I didn't plan on being on here this long, so I want to go ahead and call it, and uh, we'll go ahead and reconvene on Tuesday night at 1030 Pacific Standard Time on your channel. On my channel, and I need to see if I can talk TK. He said that he'd be interested in joining our stream, so I'm going to see if I can talk him into potentially coming on next week's stream. So it's tentative. We might have TK, a Turkin, the duty design, uh, did the modeling work on that sweet Daniel Loray drink koozie and those and that sweet uh, dragon gargoyle and all kinds of other good stuff. Yeah, that DK, that one right there. <laughs> so we'll I'll have to talk to him about that, but he sounded interested. So that would be, if he can't, we'll find another topic, but it's always cool to have designers and things like that on the show. So see what we can do. Yeah. What is it? He's about to talk to Joel and see if he wants to join us. That is true now that he has more free time. Yeah, he does he does have to get up so early channel, now. I get all the um I get all the ad I'm kidding. I really don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I get all the donations. I'm kidding on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really not. I'm 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 just teasing. Don't worry, guys. Calvin's terrible, just horrible. He's a terrible terrible human being. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm completely kidding on that. Don't worry. By, by the way, I've got another job interview on uh, Tuesday. Ooh, snap. For the auto. So we'll see how that goes. I'm wishing you the best of luck, dude. Yeah. Oh, if I get that one, then it's it'll be a day job. So I'll be, be off earlier. So if we wanted to stream earlier, we could. Sounds good. Yeah, because I think the thing that people don't realize is part of the reason why we stream at the time we do is strictly because of your schedule. Yeah, I don't. I don't, usually don't get out of there until 9.30 at night. So by the time he gets his, like, what, your $5 meal box at Carl's Jr., cuts his way home, kisses the wife, pets the cat. I, I don't stop off anywhere on the way home. I just come straight home and then start getting set up. <laughs> no, I know what you mean. On Tuesday nights, I don't have anything. But yeah, I... You know, whatever. It all adds up. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and kill the stream. Then I'm going to slice the model for the TiVo and start it uh, printing. I was going to take and do another upgrade on it, but I think I'm going to wait until after I do this print. And then that, I'll have a you know fairly easy video made. I uh, picked up a roll of this. Uh, was, I picked it up a while back, actually. I just haven't had a chance to use it. Make sure I didn't land on the heater. <laughs> so it's uh, AMZ 3D. Uh, was it bronze? Yes, bronze. Ooh. I'd say I've never tried the bronze on AMZ 3D, so I'm looking forward to trying that. And you remember that, uh, oh, what was that called? It was the one that Jeff did with the Meerkats. Remember that? I brand? don't remember the name, but I remember the model because Heather painted it and it looked sick. Right. So that one I'm going to take and I just downloaded it last night. That's when I found out that I didn't have cure on the computer. So I'll get all that fixed up, slice it, do a video on that. And then that'll free me up to where I'll have a few more days where I can uh, put the LCD screen on top of the TiVo. Sounds Once great. I get the LCD screen on there and finish out the wiring a little bit on it, then I'm probably going to set it to the side and go back to I should have my wiring harness for this should be here probably next week. So I can get that one back up and running. But I do need to start printing with that uh, flex plate from uh, Build Tech. Yeah. You do some videos on that, you know, because they, I, I owe them some time on that one because I did not expect that. <laughs> he just randomly gets a flex plate and he's all like, what? What? Oh my gosh. People send me stuff? <laughs> I honestly thought that when they asked me what my build plate dimensions were, I thought they were just going to send me a, a piece of build tack because they knew that I had this build tech piece of build tack on there for like a year and a few months. And this is the one that I actually printed the hairy lion with. And I don't know how many hairy lions since. <laughs> I mean, that thing's been, been through a pretty good war. You don't say that's seen a lot. 
it's it printed a lot of prints but uh when they found that out they're like hey we want to send you something so i thought okay well, they're gonna send me another piece of build tag <laughs> next thing i know I'm, i get this box in the mail i'm like that does not feel like build tag <laughs> So, so I've decided that since a since a channel actually went ahead and printed my tripod here, I've decided that I should probably actually get around to doing the video on the stupid thing, and hopefully have that out by this weekend. So I'm gonna hopefully work on that. Even though I won't be able to make the squishy feet like I'd wanted, I've decided I'm gonna do that as a separate video, probably a hybrid Moai slash resin slash like silicone casting video. So that should be interesting when it comes out. Um, Randall's asking what percent bronze. I honestly think it's just bronze color. I don't think it's actual bronze bronze. I think it's just bronze color. Um, because it's, it's uh one kilogram, but it's the same exact size roll as any of the other uh, one kilograms I've get. If it was one kilo of bronze, literally you get like this much filament on the roll well a normal one might be up here just because yeah. of the density being so high like yay it's a kilo oh there's nothing on that oh crap and it ain't I, I still have a hard time saying kilo i still have a hard time saying that because for so many years a kilo was not filament <laughs> mind you jimmy lives near which side of salinas is it that has all the good stuff <laughs> anymore it's all of it <laughs> although here's okay here's something funny to close it out with i was watching lock up on netflix the nat geo show and they had salinas valley state prison on there and i'm like hey i know somebody did work there <laughs> I I sat the footings for the for the uh it was back years ago we had a really bad winter they were just starting to build that prison and so they poured the concrete. Well, the rain came and just the mud got all over the concrete. And the thing is, whenever you do, uh, they do the concrete slab, then they do the concrete walls. Well, that where the rebar is along the perimeter of it, that has to be clean and the concrete has to be roughened up so that the, the concrete walls will stick to it when they, when they pour the concrete. So they called uh, my family in and we sandblasted all the concrete footings for that to get all the mud off of it, but then to roughen up the concrete so that it, they could uh, pour the walls. And uh, I was telling uh, Galvin when we drove past it, that you actually, when we worked there, we had to sign a disclaimer that we understood that they did not accept because Soledad prison was in the front. Slice Valley was built behind Soledad prison. So there was still a potential of a prison outbreak, which if that happened, their thing was they, they make you sign a disclaimer realizing we do not recognize, um, uh, what, what's the word? When they, when, they, not when they kidnap you, what do they call it? Hostages. hostages. They don't recognize hostages. That if you are in that situation, we will declare you as being an accomplice and you may be shot. <laughs> So it's like every day you're just constantly watching to make sure that nobody's coming up on you. <laughs> and I told Jimmy, I'm like, yeah, and if anything happened, you just turn that thing around. You've got like the world's ultimate machine gun just to like pelt people with. Get away from me! <laughs> yeah, they even search, search the truck on the way in, search the truck on the way out to make sure nobody hitchhiked a ride. My voice is starting to go now, so I could probably do that Alex Jones thing now. Everybody's going to like totally think that we're like total psycho people now. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, yeah, I'll no. stop before I do it to you. Yeah, probably. <laughs> but on that great story note, good night. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my friend. Well, let's go ahead and call it. I'll uh, catch you uh, on Tuesday night. I'll, I'll talk good. to you on Twitter tomorrow. Sounds good. Get some rest. Yeah. I got to get this model slice and get the mod hopefully get my voice cleared up a little bit enough to make that video. <laughs> I hear you. Guys, thank you very much for joining. Have a good night. Thank you for helping me check this out. So at least I know I'm, we're, we're good to go. Thanks for having me on again. Okay, my friend. You have a good one. You do. Okay. Good night, guys.